All right, guys, look at this thing. And we just tested this kit. That's the same by mobile kit. Look at this thing. And it's three of them. Each wheel has it. Look over there. And it's in case, it's even better. And the third prototype, which had hub motors all around. And aerodynamic, so it's all covered inside there. Look at this thing, it's sick. Two batteries. Good to see you, man. I'm well, I'm just eating a kind bar. You were hiding yesterday, I was chasing I, you down. You know, man on the move. Battery, battery, and what's inside here? So the, the, this is, the, these are the auxiliary batteries. That's the unit that we call micro future drive. Right now it's just a box with the electronics in it, but in the production version, the idea is that it is a combination of battery and quad inverter electronics. So it's basically the full package for micro mobility applications. Um, the first of which is the main link machine. Um, but the, the overall idea is um, lots of flexible inputs, uh, the ability to have up to two external battery modules, and then ultimately support, you know, very long range micro mobility application. So now a quick question. I just tried the bimodal kit. I learned about this yesterday, tested yesterday, 750 watt, 1000 watt, and I just got the 1500 watt uh, testing, you know, uh, software. I mean, it's the same kit, but has different module, modules and different like, you know, settings. You have three of them, 4.5 kilowatts maximum power, right? Uh, so Nominal, or uh, that's what I assume. It, it's gonna, you know, the, the, it's really a software limitation in terms of what class it fits in. But yeah, it's uh, the, the idea is to have, instead of having you know, one uh, big beefy motor, it's three very lightweight motor gearbox assemblies that gives you, you know, uh, regenerative anti-lock braking on the front, traction control, um, a whole bunch of other cool features, and then of course it's got the pedal generator instead of a chain or a belt. Yeah, and let me like guys that. show you a close up again. So this is right here. So all this will be covered and sexy at the end, I believe. But look how small it is. Like this is my my fist, and look at look at the size. Like it's like half the size, and yeah, 1.5 kilowatt. This is really cool. Nice shock. Nice beautiful and frame. Clear, this is this is our generation four prototype of the Meanling machine. So. All specifications subject to change and advancement <laughs> over time. And I see you guys change the throttle. This is better looking. And, and yeah. This, this also has, it, this is much closer to the production intent in terms of carrying capacity. So rack on the back, um, the ability, uh, all of this is storage space above the uh, auxiliary battery. So um, one, one of the areas where there's been obviously a lot of interest is in delivery yeah and it, it, as a you know basically in the in the compact form being able to carry a lot of stuff and have three wheel stability is, is a big deal look at the stock yeah, all, uh, and compared to a prototype this looks sexy this looks really good for, for a prototype you know, you know? continuous improvement yeah. yeah and when do you think we'll be like completely ready like to oh look at this yeah so oh. you know Holy moly, look at that. <laughs> greater than 45 degrees lean, greater than 45 degrees tier. So the idea is, this is, and this is really, this was all technology that Arkhamoto acquired with Tilting Motor Works, but it has the ride of a two-wheeler, but with just better stability, better more traction, control, yeah. a lot more control, and then a lot more carrying capacity than a typical bike. The other thing about it, just we spend a lot of time on ergonomics. So just having to, having something, it's, it's a semi-recumbent. So you're at kind of eye level with SUVs, really comfortable ride, um, and something that you could take a really long distance. So yeah, you know, this is something I've run the planet. I just did the Himaway Challenge from San Francisco to LA, 280 miles. I covered 150, like three days every day, like 50, 60 miles riding. That was insane, and I think like we should do this on the yeah, on the MLM. Yeah. The goal is to be able to ride hundreds of miles and not 
be unable to walk afterwards and be comfortable so yeah it's sort of like what are all the what are the, all the obstacles for people to get out of cars and into much smaller applications um, and it's you know no grease on your leg no chain to break much better stability control uh, comfort and lot, yeah uh, and, and you have so many speed. batteries you can just make it the like hundred plus miles and reach easily that's the goal yeah that's the goal awesome beautiful Three, each wheel. I just realized now there's three wheels and there's four motors. Yes. Yeah, we missed this. I missed this motor right here. This is your, okay, so that's okay. So those are the drive units and this is for this current. Super cool, guys. So it's like you're pedaling all three wheels at once with what's going to ultimately be a software controlled sort of perfect continuously variable transmission. I saw their shop yesterday, they walked me through the whole process, showed me the electronics and how much thought went the process. It's it's fantastic. So now I just realized like how this works. So you have three on each wheel and the fourth one will assist and will create that extra power that you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. so you, you can imagine you're uh, you're going downhill. You hit. So the other thing is you've got because you've got motors on the front wheels. It's way better for regen braking, um, and because you've got motors on each wheel, in the software you can do things like traction control, regen, and opens up so many. Yeah. Um, and then if you're hitting the regen lever, you can be pedaling hard and generating with the pedal generator and as you battery. are going downhill. So instead of just bleeding out all your energy on disc brakes, you're actually you're getting energy back from the wheels that are braking and you're able to put your help human energy into the battery at the same time. That's insane. And the question is, you're gonna have can you put regen from the throttle? So you brake from the throttle? Yeah, you can add it too. That is the regen lever right now. Uh, oh, so don't use it at the moment because it causes a hardware yeah. fault, but that's a good job for yeah. I took this track for a 15 minute ride around the block, around Mike Mobility event, and uh, getting on, it felt weird for the first uh, 3 to 5 seconds, but once you start pedaling, it takes a moment to adjust, and it has so much more power, it is very comfortable. It is so different than any EV shape or form that I have tried so far. For my height and my pedaling position, it felt super comfortable. The drives are so small, but they're actually quite noisy, they're not properly set up yet. You feel that grinding noise and it's pretty loud and hopefully it'll get smoother down the line. I tried different helical gears, drives and they can be so much smoother and can have so much less noise. So this is easy to adjust and fix and will definitely come down the line. Once I reached 25 miles an hour or even felt like it's going faster than have a GPS, I was getting close to ghost pedaling and the transmission needs to be adjusted. You can reach 30 to 40 miles an hour and still have a uh, pedal assist here hopefully and this type of speeds or higher can be easily adjusted and sustained on this model. I hope they have like internal gear hub or 
this transmission can replicate like uh, Shimano cassettes. So once you go faster, you can uh, lower the gear or higher the gear and uh, go at that speed and not get the ghost pedaling and assist uh, the system. This trike has the capacity and the structure frame to easily deliver motorcycle speeds and stability. It is a super cool idea that needs refinement and improvements like any other prototype. And this brand is working up in that direction and I feel the confidence and the desire of delivering a super sweet setup. When it comes to price, rest assured. They'll have several models uh, from budget affordable, let's say 2K to 3K uh, starting price range depending on economy, depending on the parts. And it can go all the way up to under 10K, a super specced out, powerful, lean, super awesome machine. Guys, I really had so much fun at this Micro Mobility event uh, and this I think was the gem of the show. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed as much as I did. Uh, please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. For me, the having the three wheels just gives me much more confidence in yeah. leaning it. Like yeah. I, I don't, when I ride a two-wheel bicycle, I don't aggressively lean. This thing is just... You know, you just ride it through the corners. Yeah, totally. Um, the one thing I noticed is that, like, when it's going over bumps, it still jump it. Like, it's still like if you hit a if you hit a thing, it like jumps. There's there's a, a, a again, this is a prototype. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There totally. is. Um, we've got a lot of suspension tuning to do. Yeah. Uh, we've got a lot of software tuning to do, and then bimodal. You know, so it's got the bimodal yeah. motors in there, and then there's you can hear the chatter in the gear train and so totally. It's, again. Prototype. Alignment, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of work he's done. Yeah, 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 totally. You can project out the noise as well. Like, is that, is that, um, because I noticed as well. It's a helicopter that drive, so they make a little bit of noise. Yeah. And it's not, usually what they do, we start using for skateboards for the last one year and a half. Yeah. So they're in case and have like a uh, dry loop. Yeah. So it helps a lot. They reduce the noise and they make it smooth. Here is open. Yeah. So it's a little bit of like, but that's normal. That's normal. Yeah, no, no. I mean, of course, yeah, uh, yeah. early part. I'm just going. Yeah, of course, I don't, I'm not that fast. Yeah, the, the, the chatter on the suspension is a function of suspension tuning. Yeah, and we've yeah. literally had this. I mean, this is we basically built this up and then shipped it down to the Bay Area for motors and software. Yep. Once that's done with, with our partner teams, and yep. then once that's all dialed in, which should be, I think, later this next week. Yeah, cool. Then it will go back and get all of the hardware work in terms of the the suspension tuning yeah awesome. i mean it's super cool to see it man i like i don't know if you know but i put i put it in my order like this yeah. day i was out so you know I was, well, it's, I'm, I'm pumped, this, is I'm pumped. A, this has been a dream for a long time yeah so, i'm totally and look i mean you know me i'm, I'm like big on the tilting free wheel <laughs> form factor i think it's a thing I, and it's cool to see it as well because it's just like as you as i see what you were saying about some of the things about like what nimbus is trying to do and like even just coming around that corner and feeling the wind and just going like oh man like cross winds are like they're hard in this you yeah know? it's like to be able to balance for that stuff because i'm having a counter i'm having a counter steer so you have to do all the other stuff you'd have to do all that electronically you know